Room change. Look. Stand by for a Colonel Craig. Ah. <sighs> it's early morning hours here in the bunker, and I love my coffee. Coffee's awesome. Coffee is God's gift to man. Not that you have to drink coffee, mind you, but I really like my coffee. Anyway, welcome to another edition of Colonel Craig's Crack in the Crate. Troops, it's time to crack open that crate. Okay, Wargamers, we're going to continue on with the series that I'm doing on Dark Potential. Dark Potential is a new wargaming system that, as I said in my previous video, that's being offered on the internet. It's revolutionary in that the rules are free. You can go to www.miniwargaming.com or www.darkpotential.com and download the rules and start playing the game today. Basically, this is the second starter set I got. This is the Reclaimer starter set. We're going to take a look at the box first and then take a look at what's inside. I already did one episode on the Zelanthos, and then the Corporation's coming in the mail. I'll do the Corporation probably next week, and so you'll have uh, all of the product, basically, for Dark Potential will be available on these Cracking the Crates. And uh, it's a pretty cool series. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's take a look at the box. Okay, now I talk about the Reclaimer box. It's pretty much the same as the Zelanthos box. Some pretty cool art. If you notice, the environment is kind of lush because it's about 100 years after the apocalypse. Or how the heck you say that word. And again, the part I like there, it's uh, made in Canada. That's kind of cool. The side art is basically the same as the cover art. And then on the back side here, you got the uh, close-up of the Reclaimers, a, a color scheme that, uh, who has come up with that? Uh, that is Worthy Painting right there has come up with that color scheme. And then you got a little slogan there from the Reclaimers. We will not forget why we fight. We seek to reclaim that which was ours. Time is our ally. Technology is our only hope. So that's kind of cool. So pretty much the same box as the uh, Zelanthos box set. Okay, that's, what, that's what's inside the box. These guys are, uh, like I was saying, they're kind of like the people who were left behind that weren't affected by the virus. Uh, the fluff of the game system is still in development, but the, the fluff is that these guys were in outer space when aliens attacked the Earth and released this virus that, can, that killed like 99.9% .9 of the race. Whereas these guys, since they were in space, they weren't exposed on the virus, or to the virus rather, so they have to wear these suits while they're on Earth to protect themselves from the virus. And their goal is to reclaim the Earth, henceforth the name Reclaimers. So they're coming down and uh, trying to salvage for salvage rather for material and supplies, bring them up to the back up to their space stations and ships and stuff, resupply, replenish, and then come back down again. Eventually, with the goal of one day uh, reclaiming the Earth. So, without further ado, let's uh, see what's in the box. Get this thing cut open here. Okay, it's the same thing. It's the three position tray. You got your bases, you got your models. Now these are different from the Zelanthos in that these, none of them appear to have their head on. I take that back, two of them have their head on. None of the other ones have their head on them. And then the weapons in the head come in flashing. So I'll go ahead and show that on, on the screen here. So let's take a up close look at these guys. Okay, first off, let me show you the bases. I showed them in, in my other video. But I kind of fond of these bases. They're pretty cool. They got the recessed area, as you can see, which makes it really easy for doing some basing, adding some flock in there and stuff. I like that little lip they have there. Makes them kind of hard to pick up off the counter, though, if you drop them. But other than that, pretty cool bases. And then in this set, a lot of the heads, if you can see here, the head and the weapon comes in a sprue. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off and uh, go ahead and assemble them with some blue tack. Blue tack is simple little uh, tack gum that you can pick up any convenience store. I just use that for display purposes. Okay, the first unit out of the box is your squad of initiates. This is your basic combat squad. They have exoskeletons, a particle rifle, and a repulsor. They number in size from three to six. Each has a posable arm and a posable head, so that's kind of cool. Set them up different ways. The next guy you have is your forward observer. He's armed with an exoskeleton, a laser pistol, targeting scanners, and repulsor. Haven't played him yet, but I believe that targeting scanner allows him to call in rockets from the Redeemer. So of course, next we have the Redeemer. 
The Redeemer has an exoskeleton, a laser pistol, and a Stalker missile launcher. So these are the missiles that the other guy can call in. And last but not least is the Captain. He's the leader of your Reclaimers. He's armed with an exoskeleton, a laser pistol, a particle beam, and a repulsor. Yeah, he's got his face exposed because he's the commander, but he's got a respirator, so I guess that makes him okay from the virus. Okay, this is everybody you get in the box in one shot. You have the four initiates, your basic combat squad. You have the captain, who's the commander of your troops. You have the forward observer, and then you have his partner, the redeemer, where he can call in those missiles. Okay, so that's basically the uh, reclaimers. Uh, next week, I'll do the corporation. So what faction are you going to command? And so which one do you like the best? What color schemes are you going to come up with? These guys, I don't know, pretty cool. I've seen some orange and blue color schemes. Looks pretty neat. Look like the old SR-71 pilots. But I don't know. Wait and see. Let's see what we come up with. For Colonel Craig, happy wargaming.